Hello everyone. Um, in this time, that I'm going to explain that, that uh, how to apply the probability model uh, to design the granular filter for the Earth dam. Um, last lecture, I will briefly mention about uh, this separate filtration bridging formation is very important to uh, get the successful filter result on, uh, on the upstream area of the filter. Um, so typical the cross section of the filter media uh, as a for successful case is uh, showing this type of uh, some uh, green size distribution is uh, differentiated by that uh, uh, at the from distance from the that filter media and also is typically the void ratio is increased at the interface zone and uh, in the middle zone at the filter cake zone is a uh, kind of reduced and then is approaching to the, the upstream side is the original the void ratio um, as I mentioned earlier, the construction size is a contribute to that uh, the change of the grain size distribution from the depth bridge information. So construction is an area concept, it's two-dimensional channel. It's not the uh, it's a three-dimensional the pore space concept. Okay. Um, and also I uh, mentioned that the uh, privacy model can handle that uh, kind of uh, some chain reaction. So first layer uh, fine particles uh, pass through the data filter media and uh, it changes the grain size distribution consequently. The change of that const uh, grain size distribution important impact on that uh, grain size uh, constriction size distribution. So that changed constriction size distribution also influence of the upper soil the grain size distribution because uh, the fine particle upper fine particle also pass through that uh, the first layer uh, constriction size change. So it's kind of a kind of <clears throat> it's a chain reaction it uh, move towards that upstream area. Um, so how we can relate this uh, micro scale the uh, the fine particle changes the uh, impact on the, the macro scale at the grain size distribution of uh, the soil particle. Um, this diagram is kind of pro, uh, presenting some renormalization method. It's a kind of a, one of a probability model. model. Um, it actually the simulated that uh, is a the micro scale at the fine particle migration. So you can see it, the black dot is a presenting kind of a, is a accessible the opening area. Uh, some constriction. So, so those constriction is a uh, maybe is available constrictions increase. It possibly is a more uh, fine part possibility of a passing the probability of a, a fine particle uh, down toward uh, the downward. Right. So that probability is increase as much as as long as this the black dot the population is increase. So renormalization renormalization techniques is a finding uh, the what's the we uh, what's the critical point uh, to reach to uh, to continuing this type of uh, forwarding the the fine particle movement uh, toward the, that uh, the uh, filter interface. Um, so from the, the research and uh, we figure out the kind of uh, some there's some relationship between the one to one line and also the the probability the passing probability of the particle and also the what is a pore the passing probability so passing probability is related is a constraint size of population so how much constriction size available the big size of uh, constriction is available and from the, from the previous research we actually figure out and then the Above some the range, uh, such as a twenty eight percent of construction size, and the the biggest uh, smaller size of the uh, the small particle, it should be it's a uh, continuing to move to the passing. So it kind of is a moved passing uh, forward the passing probability is increased. Uh, however, the particle size is uh, smaller than this type of construction size. It should be retained. So we actually find that this time a critical point. Um, the first thing uh, we mentioned uh, the base of soil grain size, grain size distribution curve here, and we can generate uh, that construction size curve. Uh, depends on that uh, the relative density of uh, the compaction degree. Okay, and as you can see, uh, if some the particle uh, the density 
compacted soil, it's showing is very uh, the smaller constriction size curve. And the matching is the 28% and that particle size. And uh, eventually the, the particle size greater than this 20% of constraint size will be retained. But uh, smaller than it should be passed through. So, so eventually the after uh, this 90% uh, the compaction degree, this base of soil is uh, the fine particle is a discrete that uh, grain size distribution is changed like follow this black line. It put the 20% relative density, you know, is uh, the higher the constitutional size curve here applied, but 28% matching and uh, the smaller fine particle is pass through. So eventually that curve based uh, particle grain size distribution so follow this black line. So after the, the piping, piping uh, mechanism. Okay, and uh, from now on, the, I'm going to explain the, how we can the, simulate this type of probability model and, uh, and met also actually uh, now the, the uh, many of them engineers are using this type of deterministic the FEMAR method. Um, so in addition to the, this uh, conventional the design method, how we can apply that the probability method to improve the, our the filter design. Um, this is uh, uh, the example of the is a dam core material that have this uh, grain size distribution shape like uh, the red line. Uh, and the current FEMA design they require the, uh, the the candidate filter media should satisfy three different category. The first category is actually retention criteria. It's a uh, filter media fifty percent is uh, should be less than four times our base or eighty five percent the particle size, and uh, Second criteria is a kind of a uh, drainage function. So drainage uh, criteria, it should be the bit of particle 50% size, it should be greater than five times of a base soil 50% particle size. And FEMA also additionally to require for the anti the segregation criteria. So they just additionally satisfy the grain size, uh, to media size is 90% and 10% should satisfy this range. And also gradation is also satisfied this uh, uniformity in the index the range uh, between two and six. Um, however, it is a kind of a determined type, deterministic method. It has some limitation. In case if we have uh, two different type of filter here, uh, the filter one grain size distribution here, filter two grain size distribution here, those two filter media grain size distribution both uh, satisfy this criteria. So, so how we can uh, the M engineer should uh, install the select which types of filter media for comparable this type of uh, base soil core material with the grain size distribution? It's a kind of dilemma, so, right? So that's the reason why actually we uh, apply the probability model, and from probability model, and it can simulate also the kind of separate segregation process. So maybe relative density is so low, and you can uh, so pine particle migration is a uh, its upper soil is reduced and up increased amount of the base. And the uh, relative density is high, it's maybe it's the prime particle migration is reduced. So in probability model, actually you can do that and then you apply these types of uh, uh, the base of soil grain size, uh, both the grain size distributions curve here given, and you apply types of uh, filter media uh, construction size here. And so if this filter one is uh, uh, this, this line and filter two is actually this line. So as I mentioned earlier, 28% the corresponding constraint size, and the after the migration happen, the then the base of soil grain size distribution curve is changed like this, and the filter two case is like this. Okay. Um, so this bottom line the, is the consequence the result of the, that the, uh, the, the pro, uh, modeling result. And uh, ninety percent compaction degree and the ten percent constraint degree saying is a uh, filter one is uh, actually it's anyway it's uh, regardless of the compaction degree it producing like a breaching formation you can see that it's a uh, one two three four five is a kind of a sub layer number of the uh, it depends on the high the number is a the distance is a high uh, larger than uh, is a uh, increased compared from the, the that interface of a filter so it's a uh, Five actually grain size distribution is very close to the, this red line. It's original uh, uh, grain size distribution. However, filter two is actually 
doesn't actually uh, success didn't build a successful bridge information because of well, so even five cases is is too far from the that uh, rather uh, in original the current solution curve. And a proxy model can simulate this type of void ratio change and uh, uh, sorry the fine particle migration weight. So it's a uh, the relative density is an increase. It reduced the fine migration, but the relative density is low and it increases that the fine uh, particle migrations are observed. Okay, so how we can uh, getting we get the, this types of uh, the simulation. So in provided that the, uh, the, the program and the privacy model and you can just type in this uh, filter one media so just check that the self segregation okay so maybe use a plug, plug in this grain size curve and uh, you go to uh, generate and then you actually just calculate and uh, this uh, close the all the, uh, the opening size so you actually eventually getting this types of self segregation curve okay so you actually getting this uh, the weight of the its increase at the interface uh, because it's a closing uh, is a, uh, cr the opening space is closed now. Uh, this is filter one case. So and then we apply this kind of a uh, construction size curve a number, and then we apply the, this uh, the base of soil. So this is a filter one case. And this is a base of soil. So we apply uh, this is construction size of uh, the filter media. So then we actually getting and uh, generated this uh, the, the base of soil grain size curve, and uh, you applied this filter media, and you getting get this type of uh, identified at the uh, the build up of the uh, bridge information. So okay. And um, what about the actual uh, filter two media? So filter two media, you can apply this, and then uh, you eventually same and use actual segregation. Uh, you actually generate and calculate, and you actually adopted this types of construction size, and then uh, you apply, it. and uh, it's the same the base material. So apply to this and the the filter media at the construction size applied and the same you have to paste the soil the grain size solution curve okay so you just erase and then you can regenerate that uh, the simulation and then you eventually getting you can see uh, this is only the three layer uh, sub layer number maybe you can just increase and maybe just five the same you automatically generate it yeah, so you can see that still is a five location. Still, that the gradation is a, is a far from the, that original gradation. So that means uh, we go back to the that the original uh, the the our yeah uh, the result and uh, the filter one it's just actually it successfully uh, produced that bridge information uh, for the that the. Uh, uh, the target at the base of soil grain size distribution. And the filter two media, yeah, although it's show is a very small construction size uh, distribution, but uh, it's a allowed it's a lots of uh, the, the fine particle migration the continuously. So eventually if, if you apply the filter two media and that possibly and producing kind of a consistent uh, the fine migrations happen at for the, the base of soil. Um, you can examine these types of uh, pine particle migration change from the deposit model. And I just explained that this is a filter one case and you can see that. And then, yeah, it can show that, that uh, the pine particle migration. So 80% of the uh, change and then the upper soil is a kind of uh, just 20% of weight change. That's actually 10% um, uh, of compaction degree and then that the soil migration degree is either reduced, okay, for the, the filter one, and uh, you have also filter two result, it's the same, but the ninety percent is still is a lots of ten percent level is of pine particle migrations still continuing, and if ten percent of constrictions uh, the relative density is over twenty percent of twenty percent of weight loss, it's consistently throughout the upper soil. 
Okay, uh, I've just briefly showed that the demonstration of the Parsley model, and then uh, if any 